Hey, Pablo Gunner here to talk nerdy to you about Drawing Blood, the story behind the stories, Volume 1, Spilled Ink, which is created by, slash story by Kevin Eastman and David Avalone script, David Avalone artwork, Ben Bishop colors, Brittany Peer, Tommy Varga uh, letters, Taylor Esposito, flashbacks, layout, Ben Bishop, finals, Kevin Eastman, then Hallucinations, Layout, Ben Bishop, Finals, Troy Little. Drawing Blood is a Kevin Eastman graphic novel funded through Kickstarter. It is, it's a spoof of TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it's also but mainly a dramatization of Kevin Eastman's life. Uh, a lot of the talent in the book, meaning, you know, like the artists, writer, all these people, they are people that have been in the TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, IDW comics, the most recent ones. You can tell, they, they've worked together before, they work well together, you know, they've done this before, and now they're just doing it for a different book, for an indie book, as indie as it goes, Kickstarter, self-published, right? So, the story, it's not actually Kevin Eastman, so instead, they, they changed his name to Shane Bookman, that's the main character, um, and he actually does his own like intro or forward or whatever which is really it re it's it's pretty meta especially right. because in the book like in his forward he mentions Kevin Eastman and then in the book they show Kevin Eastman so it's like this ragdolls thing and the TMNT like they exist in this this universe and so it like I said it's just it's really meta but it it is really cool it's and and the thing is too is it kind of jumps around right like so it starts with this cook that it seems like it takes place like in the present or future kind of depending because it kind of jumps around right so like it'll starts with this event where crap goes down and it's really bad and then it goes now i'm gonna explain you to you like how i got here kind of it goes flashback to shane bookman meeting his idol which is a spoof of frank miller which is kevin eastman's idol right and once again this is so there's so many things in this book that seem so realistic. You're like, did this really happen in Kevin Eastman's life? I'm not sure. Which is cool to be like, once again, the story behind the scenes, but what's real and what isn't real and to not know what's real makes it even more more interesting and more fun, I think. Uh, uh, so that, so that's really cool uh, to see that. And and some of the jokes, they're a little cheesy, but it, it works for it, right? Like w what they're going for, I feel like they hit it right on the nose. Like, so. What's really cool too is that there's different art styles. So, like for example, there's this hallucination that Bookman has uh, with his own original characters, which are called the radically rearranged Ronin Ragdolls. I don't think it sounds as cool as TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but you know, it's it's a spoof of it, right? So there's hallucinations throughout this book, you know, and stuff. And so the way that they keep it straight the way that they you know the different timelines are these different artists and so it totally works for it and i really enjoyed that like not often do you find that in a book where you go hey there's these different styles that are radically different and yet they flow and mesh pretty well because you go hey this is the tone of this we're hallucinations this is the tone of this you know for that and so and all these different like timelines or whatever that they're going through I mean, there's not that really, I want to say like there's the future, there's the present, and then there's the hallucination stuff or whatever. So. That's, oh, in the past. So, uh, so it's really not that much, but you know, it, it just worked. It just flowed so well, which is like I said, it's such a rarity. Uh, and, and that was, that's the, the colors and letters included. So the thing is, is that they introduced so much. And because I feel like this was a project where... Kevin Eastman, he's an artist and he's a writer, so he knows both. And then Ben Bishop's done similar work; he's written and done art as well. So I feel like he, they, when they work together, they're just like they pack so much story in so few because it's really four issues packed into one graphic novel, and yet they told so much story, introduced so many characters, and you're like, wow, this is a lot. It almost felt overwhelming and a little too much, but it sucks you in. And you're like, I want more of this. And unfortunately, you have to wait. You have to sign up for the Kickstarter for Volume 2, and you have to get more. That's the only thing that sucks, is having to wait. But I do think that it's coming. I think it's coming in 2023. So, you know, like I said, you can go to yourself, go on 
Google or Bing or whatever, whatever you choose as your search and just put in Drawing Blood Kickstarter and it'll pop up first thing, click it, sign up, get it because it's definitely worth it. If you're like me, you're a hardcore comic book fan, you like Kevin Eastman, you like Ninja Turtles, then you'll definitely dig it. So for me, definitely a strong buy. Now it's up to you to decide if it's worth it for you. But I, I like I said, if we're if we're similar, similar taste, you're you're gonna dig it. You're gonna be down for another volume. Talk nerd to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube, Gmail, Hotmail, whatever, and go to our website at TNTM the Show and check out my TikTok. Stay nerdy, Planet Earth.